Successful businesses need to innovate. They need to constantly reinvent their products and services to provide greater value to their customers, because if they don't, someone else will. The question is, how do you continuously identify new opportunities to add value for your customers? One way is through a process called painstorming. Painstorming is an opportunity recognition tool that can highlight product and process improvement opportunities. Once you know where improvement is needed, you can then focus your new product development efforts on those areas to drive innovation. Painstorming involves looking closely at situations and circumstances that can cause people pains or inconveniences, annoyances, hassles, workarounds, so that you can then focus your efforts on eliminating or at least reducing those pains. I love coffee, but I always found it a hassle to make, especially if I only want a cup or two. The Mr. Coffee came out in 1972 and quickly became the dominant coffee maker in the United States. Watch while I make a pot and look for pains and inconveniences along the way. First, I need a filter. Put the filter in place. I think I'll make just a half a pot, so I'll grab some coffee. Next, I'm gonna need water. And I always prefer to get my water from the refrigerator because it's filtered, and that way I don't have to clean the, clean the coffee pot out as much, and it helps the coffee to taste better. Pour the water in. Reinsert the pot and press start to begin and wait. Ah, it's finally done so I can pour myself a nice hot cup of coffee. But we're not done yet. I still have to clean up. Uh, looks like I made a bit much so I have to dump that out. I'll come back later and clean the pot. Then I have to get the filter out throw it away. This is kind of a messy job. Usually in the painstorming process, the person or people being observed are not talking to you. Two enterprising coffee lovers recognizing the pains in making a cup of coffee spent three years inventing and perfecting the Keurig. It launched more than 30 years after the Mr. Coffee. So with this new and improved coffee maker, I simply grab my cup, select my coffee in a K cup, Open the lid and hit brew. And my coffee is ready in about a minute. Cleanup is as simple as throwing the K-cup away. The company is still working on more sustainable packaging. Another benefit of this design is that I can immediately follow my cup of coffee with a cup of tea or hot chocolate with no cleaning necessary. While we're here in the kitchen, let's look at some other products that help reduce pains. Look at this strainer, also known as the colander. It works great, but usually when I'm in the process of cooking spaghetti or something, I already have dishes in the sink. So I have to clear out the sink before I can set the colander in it. The other challenge with this strainer is it's kind of bulky. It's very difficult to store. So it doesn't nest well with pots and pans. So here's a new, uh, a new version, which is collapsible. So I pull this out, I uncollapse it, and it has these handles on the side that help it straddle the sink so it doesn't matter if I have dishes and I can do my business and when I'm done and I have it clean, cleaned I can collapse it for easy storage. I like soft, medium, and hard-boiled eggs. The challenge is that it's nearly impossible to know when they are properly done. So most people end up overcooking them or using a trial and error method where they pull one out and check it. And of course, every stove is different, so 10 minutes on this stove is different than 10 minutes on another stove. Recognizing this minor pain, the perfect egg timer was invented. It has thermochromic properties so that as it heats up, it changes color from the outside in, just like an egg cooks. So regardless of the stove, the temperature setting, or even the number of eggs in the pot, the timer changes color just as the eggs cook, so it's a no-brainer to make perfect eggs every single time. So this is the traditional peeler for carrots and apples and whatnot. It's not very comfortable to hold. In fact, it has sharp edges. So OXO Good Grips has come out with a whole line of utensils. Here's the same peeler with a nice soft grip, which is very easy to use. A pizza cutter in the same fashion. This is particularly important if you have arthritis or something in your hands. 
Painstorming is a powerful process that can be used in almost any situation where people can be observed using a product or going through a process. Note that painstorming does not identify the solution, but rather it identifies the opportunity to create a solution. It's usually done by making a video of people interacting with a product so that the video can be watched repeatedly, preferably by a diverse group of people because we all see through different lenses. Many companies even set up video cams to capture numerous people interacting with their products. There's a lift truck manufacturer that I've worked with that installed video cams on the top of their trucks, and by watching many different operators over hundreds of hours, they've identified and eliminated or reduced numerous pains, and their trucks are widely recognized as the most innovative in the world. Painstorming is an important tool in the entrepreneurially-minded engineer's toolbox, and the more you practice it, the more natural and effective it becomes. For more information on painstorming, please check out the following resources.